Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today in front of me, I have the Talkboy Deluxe. Yes, friends, it is that crazy tool used by Kevin McAllister in Home Alone 2 to defeat the bad guys. Remember, good guys win, bad guys lose, and as always, England prevails, or at least Kevin the American. Now, when I got this, it was untested, so I should have known that there would have been some problems with it, and this is an in interesting problem. So I press play, nothing going on. But if I move it from regular to slow motion, it'll play. I don't get any audio coming out of it, uh, which is interesting. So usually back in the day with this kind of stuff is there are wearable parts on here, not just gears, but actually belts. So I have a feeling a belt's going to have something to do with it. I was getting some volume out of it, but that could just be dust on the circuit board. The circuit board uh, doesn't have enough protection over top of it. So, looks like, I'm in luck, this is from the age where you would have Phillips head screws. Man, back in the day, every kid wanted this thing. It was the big thing to have that Christmas. Oh no! I, I mixed batteries. I'm going straight to heck now, aren't I? So, 28 years ago, for all of you who don't know, Home Alone 2 was such a big thing. Home Alone 1 was uh, was the real go-getter, but when Home Alone 2 came out, they jumped on it just as bad and just as poorly as uh, Dune franchise had tried to jump on the science fiction franchise. I mean, Star Wars was out, so everything was going to be good that way, right? Anyways, they released Dune, and it's nothing like Star Wars, and it just crashes all together. Home Alone 2 was okay. It wasn't great. It was definitely a huge marketing scheme. So this thing was released specifically for the marketing, and there's so much of that happening these days. Like, whenever they make a Star Wars movie, they gotta release at least one new character. I should probably let that thing out, shouldn't I? They always release... Uh, well, one new character to make you want to go out and buy a new action figure and then they re-release -re every character all at the same time again but yeah this was created specifically for the movie and it was a big deal man i can't believe it was that long ago 1992 that makes me feel so old okay i'm gonna go off camera and figure out what i'm missing here what a little bugger. The last screw was hanging out right in there. How dare they. I'm surprised they didn't put an eject button on here. I know you don't need to, but still. Okay, so on the inside here, you can see we got the microphone. We got the battery. What's interesting is we have a twist tie here that's just sitting there. It's like they meant to twist tie all this together, but they didn't. Or maybe it just bent back over time. I don't know. Perhaps we will never know. Anyways, let's get a good look at that motherboard. This definitely looks like an old school, early 90s motherboard. Oh, look at those uh, pickups. I'm going to have to clean that up. Jeez, how would that happen? I wonder if the flux, if that rust is uh, just the flux gone bad. It would be interesting how bad flux will go. Uh, I wonder if I can get at the meat and potatoes of this on the other side. Yes, I can. I believe if I just take out this one screw, I'll be very careful here because I want to put all this back together when I am done. Okay, what are you caught on this time? I will be right back. Oh, no, I won't. There it is. Right under my nose. You know I never look there. My fans know I never look there. All one of them. It has all the belts. What? What's up with that? Look at that. The belts are all there. What? Oh, look at that connection. Oh, that ticks me off. Please tell me. It isn't. Oh, I can't take the freaking board off. Okay, so. Uh, it's, it's, it's soldered on directly. I can't take this thing off solder directly on over here well I guess I could take it off let's have to resolder but man if they would have put a termination at the end of that I would have been so happy but yeah it looks like everything's turning as expected it must just be must just be that damn corrosion giving me the problem it's interesting how it's corroded like that 
Okay, now starts the advanced fun of putting everything back together again. Blue circuit board, eh? Maybe I should have a cl oh, oh, yuck! Oh, that flux looks bad. That's gotta be flux. It's not really sticky, so it's gotta be flux. I don't. That's probably not gonna show up, but yeah, you can see a little bit of that. Yeah, on the camera, it's like that doesn't look like flux. It just looks like ins insulation. It's not insulation, ladies and gentlemen. That's flux. It's like they covered the thing in flux. Or I'm just way off. One way or another. Anyways. Not as hard to get off as I thought it would be. The biggest thing is just to remember that you get the screw right in here. And that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. And that from that stack fits. Like, subscribe, like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it. And as usual, take care of each other, folks.